Hi, my name is Jo um, and I'm the Associate Director of Brand and Change at Crest Advisory and I'm going to talk to you today about brand. So what is a brand? What do you achieve if you, if you have a good brand? And how you measure your current brand against what you want to achieve. Okay, so for me a brand is everything that you say and everything that you do. Um, it's really important that you consider your brand in the round. So you look at your comms, your products and services, your behaviours in your environment and all of these elements need to be aligned. It's really really tempting to get dragged into this comm space so to think only about oh how do we look, what do we say, what's our website look like um, and forget about these things here. These things here are very very important because if you don't get these right no matter what you say here your brand won't deliver. Okay so if you get it right what does a good brand do for you? Well um, I think it gives you clarity. It talks to people convincingly about who you are, what you do, why you're special and why they should choose you. We're always looking to create a bond between the customer and the brand. This is the most important thing. Um, externally, it's going to drive things like understanding, appreciation, loyalty and advocacy. So, um, and trust is really important. Once you have trust and you have advocates, um, particularly in these days when we actually have an awful lot of peer review going on, so for example, Airbnb, TripAdvisor are really good examples of this. Having a whole bunch of brand advocates for your products or your charity or your service is really important. Okay, if you get it right, Internally, it's going to drive staff engagement, it's going to drive a, a culture of innovation, productivity and loyalty, and it's going to reduce those negative factors such as attrition um, and absence and all of those things that actually build a negative culture within your organisation. If you get those right, it drives customer satisfaction, which again increases sales, increases support, etc. So it's a kind of cyclical thing. So, okay, that's all very good. Um, how do we know how our brands um, standing up at the moment? Well, if you've got a really good idea of your business strategy, you know what you're trying to achieve, um, talk to people, say, okay, so we want to achieve this. You know, what are your perceptions of our brand? How are we doing? And if there are things that aren't quite in line, then, okay, let's talk about how we might fix those. Um, Look at your competition and your marketplace. So how are your competition uh, portraying themselves? Are they, you know, how are they talking about themselves? Is there anything we can use as a lever for our own brand to create that kind of space in people's minds? Um, every organisation has an enormous amount of facts. So whether it be staff surveys, customer surveys, whether it be um, things like web stats, um, you know, all of those kind of business analyst stuff. Have a look at that and just see if, if your brand is helping you to achieve those aims or is hindering it. Um, and I would say always return to your quadrant. So look at this and just say, do we have authenticity, coherence? Are these things driving our strategy forward? And are these things driving people to support us? Um, I hope this has been really useful for you. Um, my name's Jo and I am the Associate Director of Brand and Change at Crest. We would love to talk to you about your brand. Um, I really hope you get in touch. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.